You're listening to the Miss Artastic Podcast. Inspiration for art teachers. Here's your host, Kathleen McGivern. Discover expert tips and strategies for teaching general art history effectively. Explore curriculum development, engaging uh, teaching methods and resources, and more to inspire your students' passion for art. Art in all its forms has the remarkable power to transcend time, culture, and a language. And language, offering us glimpses into the past, reflections and the present and visions of the future. As art history uh, educators, uh, you stand at the intersection of this rich tapestry tasked with its unraveling tasked with unraveling its intricate threads and weaving them into compelling narratives for your students. Teaching general art history is a journey through the epoch, styles, and stories that define human creativity. It's a voyage that can ignite a lifelong passion for the arts in your students, opening their eyes to the beauty and complexity of your of our shared human heritage. However, this endeavor also comes with its unique challenges, from selecting the right resources to navigating sensitive topics. In this guide, Brushstrokes Through Time, a concise guide to teaching general art history, we will embark on this journey together. Whether you're an experienced art history educator looking for fresh insights or a new teacher seeking guidance, this comprehensive resource is designed to help you navigate We will delve into the art of understanding your audience, developing a flexible curriculum, harnessing diverse resources, and employing engaging teaching strategies. Additionally, uh, we'll discuss the importance of fostering a supportive art community, addressing sensitive topics, and overcoming the common challenges faced in the classroom. By the end of this guide, you'll be equipped with the knowledge and tools to inspire your students, spark their creativity, and instill in them a deep appreciation for the artistic expressions that have shaped our world throughout art history. Join us in this transformative journey as we explore the realm of teaching general art history one brushstroke at a time. Understanding your audience. Teaching art history is a much is as much about connecting with your students as it is about conveying the intricacies of art from different eras and cultures. To be an effective art history educator, you must possess a keen understanding of your audience, your students. Recognizing your unique needs, backgrounds, and learning styles is essential for tailoring your approach and ensuring a meaningful educational experience. In this section, we'll explore strategies for understanding your art history class. One, identify the needs of your students. First, talk, look at age groups. So art history, span, um, art history students span a wide range, age range from high school to college and beyond. Consider the developmental stage of your students and adjust teaching methods accordingly. Next, prior knowledge. Assess your students' prior knowledge exposure to art and art history. This will then help you gauge their familiarity with art concepts and tailor your instruction accordingly. Three, learning goals. Understand that your students hope to, understand what your students hope to achieve through your course. Are they pursuing a degree in art history, fulfilling a general education requirement, or are they simply exploring their interests? Two, tailoring, tailoring your approach to different age groups. For high school students, incorporate engaging visuals and relatable examples to make art history appealing and relevant to younger learners. For college students, encourage critical thinking and independent research. Challenge them with advanced concepts and research projects. For adult learners, respect their life experiences and encourage discussions and that draw connections between art history and their daily lives. Three, recognizing diverse learning styles. Visual learners, use visual and artwork materials. For auditory learners, audio-visual resources such as documentaries and artist interviews to engage these students. For your visits to allow for tactile engagement with art. Four, build cultural sensitivity. 
Be mindful of cultural diversity within your classroom. Our history encompasses a global spectrum of cultures and perspectives. Ensure that your teaching materials and discussions are inclusive and respectful of various cultures and identities. Encourage open dialogue and the sharing of diverse viewpoints among your students. Create a safe space for discussing potentially sensitive topics related to art and culture. Understanding your audience is a one-time effort isn't a one-time effort. It's an ongoing process that evolves with each new class by tailoring your teaching methods to your students' needs and fostering a respectful and um, inclusive in learning environment, you'll better be equipped to inspiring a lifelong love for art history among your diverse group of learners. Developing a curriculum, crafting a journey through art. Creating a curriculum for general art history is akin to curating a gallery of masterpieces. You must carefully select the works that will engage your students, guide them through different eras and styles, ultimately leaving them with a profound appreciation for the subject. In this section, we'll del explore the steps, into, steps involved in developing a robust art history curriculum. First, defining the scope of your art history course. Begin by defining the overarching goals and objectives of your curriculum. What do you want your students to gain from the course? This might include an understanding artistic techniques, uh, appreciating historical context, or developing critical thinking skills. Consider the duration of your course. Is it a semester long class, a year long program, or a shorter workshop? The course length will influence the depth and breadth of your curriculum. Two, selecting key topics and themes. Art history is a vast field, so focus on specific themes, movements, or time periods that align with your course. Objectives. For example, you might uh, choose to explore Renaissance art, uh, modernist movements, or the in in uh, intersection of art and politics. Ensure a balanced representation of diverse cultures and artistic traditions to provide a comprehensive view of art history. Creating a flexible syllabus. Develop a syllabus that outlines the uh, schedule of topics, readings, assignments, and assessments. Make sure to allocate sufficient time for each unit while allowing flexibility to delve deeper into certain areas if students show a keen interest. Clearly communicate the course expectations, grading criteria, and due dates to your students. Four, incorporating global perspectives. Art knows no boundaries and art history should reflect this. Introduce artworks and artists from various regions and cultures to provide a more inclusive and global perspective. Encourage discussions about the cross-cultural influences and exchanges that have shaped the art world. Five, utilizing a variety of teaching methods. Diversify your teaching materials. Incorporate textbooks, uh, articles, videos, and primary source materials to enrich the learning experience. Leverage technology to showcase artworks and historical contexts. Virtual museum tours, online exhibitions, and multimedia presentations can bring art to life. Six, encourage critical analysis. Teach your students to, uh, how to analyze artworks critically. Encourage them to ask questions about the composition, symbolism, and cultural significance of each piece. Promote discussions that explore different interpretations about perspectives and on art. Um, seven is to connect is connecting art to real life applications. Highlight the re re relevance of art history in today's world. Discuss how art reflects and shapes cultures, politics, and society. Encourage students to draw connections between art history and their own lives, fostering a deeper appreciation for its significance. As you craft your art history curriculum, remember it's not just about imparting knowledge, it's also about inspiring a lifelong curiosity and passion for art. A well-designed curriculum can be the canvas upon which your students paint their own journeys of discovery through the rich tapestry of human creativity. Resources for art, hist uh, for art history teachers, a palette for inspiration. Art history teachers have the delightful task of introducing students to the vast and diverse world of visual and creativity, visual creativity throughout history. To make this journey enriching, um, 
It's essential to have a robust arsenal of resources at your disposal. Here are some invaluable resources that can help you in your quest to impart the wonders of art history. First is the Miserastic Teachers Pay Teachers Store. The Miserastic TPT Store is a treasure trove of art history teaching materials. From meticulously crafted lesson plans to interactive activities, the store offers a wide range of resources uh, designed to make art history come to life in the classroom. Whether you're teaching about famous artists or exploring specific art movements, Miserastic Store is a go-to destination for innovative and engaging teaching materials. Artastic Collective Art Curriculum. The Artastic Collective Art Curriculum is a hub of inspiration for art educators. Their comp the comprehensive art curriculum provides a structured framework for teaching art history alongside hands-on activi making activities with a focus on fostering creativity and critical thinking. This curriculum empowers teachers to guide students through an immersive journey of art discovery. It's an invaluable resource for educators looking to create a holistic um, art education experience. Three, museum resources. Many art museums offer online um, resources and educational programs for teachers. Institutions like the Museum of Mar um, Metropolitan Museum of Art, the Louvre, and the British Museum provide free access to their collections, educational materials, and virtual tours. These resources can enrich your lessons by allowing students to explore artworks from around the world. Four, art history textbooks. A good art history textbook is a foundational resource for your classroom. Uh, look for books that cover a wide range of um, art movements, uh, cultures, and time periods. Some popular um, options include Gardner's Art Through the Ages and Art History by Marilyn Stoke Stad and Michael Cothern. Cothern? I'm sorry if I butchered the names. <laughs> Online databases. Academic databases like JSTOR, J-S-T-O-R, and Google Scholar are valuable for accessing um, scholarly articles and research papers related to art history. They can aid you in your own research and provide students with authoritative sources for their projects. Six, art history associations and organizations. Joining associations like the College Art Association, CAA, or the National Art Education Association, NAEA, can connect you with a community of art educators and provide access to conferences, publications, and teaching resources. Local museums and galleries, number seven. Don't overlook the wealth of resources available in your local community. Museums and galleries often, often t um, host teacher workshops, exhibitions, and educational programs tailored to school curricula. By harnessing these resources, you can enhance your um, art teacher toolkit, making the exploration of art and culture a vibrant and engaging experience for your students. Whether you're a seasoned educator or you're just starting your teaching journey, these resources can help you inspire a lifelong love for for our history in your students. Engaging teaching strategies in igniting artistic passion. Teaching our history is a journey of discovery and the path to engaging um, students in this fascinating subject is paved with creativity and innovation. To cultivate a deeper appreciation for art and art history, educators must employ teaching strategies that captivate students' imaginations and foster critical thinking. Here are some of the are some engaging teaching strategies to bring the world of art history to life in your classroom. One is visual exploration and analysis. Visual aids. Incorporate a variety of visuals, including high resolution images, slideshows, and videos to immerse students in the world of art. These aids allow for a closer examination of artworks details, enabling students to appreciate nuances they might miss in a textbook. Two, interactive discussions. Socratic seminars. Encourage thoughtful dialogue by organizing Socratic seminars where students engage in open-ended discussions about art, its historical context, and its impact on, success on society. This approach fosters critical thinking and communication skills. Three, hands-on projects. Art replication. Let students channel their inner artists by recreating famous artworks or experimenting with techniques used by renowned artists. This hands-on approach deepens their understanding of the creative process. Now, instead of just simply recreating it like full on, the exact same, I would encourage that they add their own artist flavor or twist onto the art piece to make it their own. 
Number four, technology and multimedia tools. Virtual museum tools. Take advantage of technology by offering virtual museum tours. These online experiences enable students to explore renowned museums worldwide, enhancing their exposure to diverse art collections. Five, storytelling and narratives. Art as storytelling. Frame art history as a series of interconnected narratives. Share the stories behind artworks, artists, and the historical events that influence their creative their creation. This approach humanizes art, making it more relatable and memorable. Uh, art critique workshops. Number seven, encourage students to express their opinions and interpretations of artworks. Use structured art critique workshops to guide their analysis and help them articulate their thoughts. And finally, gamification and quizzes. Art history games. Incorporate interactive games or quizzes to make learning fun and competitive. Gamification can reinforce key concepts and encourage active participation. By infusing your art history curriculum with these engaging teaching strategies, you can kindle your students' passion for art and art history. These approaches not only make the subject more accessible, but also foster a sense of wonder and curiosity that can last a lifetime. Assessment and evaluation in art history. Nurturing artistic, nurturing artistic growth. Assessment and evaluation are the compass points in, on the map of education, guiding both students and educators through the journey of learning. In the realm of teaching general art history, these processes play a vital role in measuring not only what students know, but also how deeply they understand and appreciate the world of art. Here we delve into the art of designing meaningful assessments, establishing grading criteria, and nurturing artistic growth. Designing meaningful assignments and projects. In art history, um, assignments and projects serve as a vehicle for students to explore, analyze, and interpret artworks and historical contexts. Assign research papers that delve into the lives and contributions of artists and and the evolution of art movements, or the symbolism in specific network artworks. Visual analysis challenge, challenge students to sharpen their observation skills and dissect the intricate elements of artworks, or reinterpreting it in a modern context can be an, a way to foster a deeper understanding of the artistic process. Furthermore, presentations and the subsequent class discussions encourage students to articulate their knowledge and engage in constructive dialogues with their peers. Rubrics and grading criteria. The cornerstone of, ass of effective assessment lies in transparent grading criteria and comprehensive rubrics. These tools not only facilitate clear communication of expectations, but also ensure consistent evaluation. Um, develop rubrics that break down the assessment into specific elements such as research, analysis, creativity, and presentation. By providing these rubrics to your students in advance, they can gain insight into your assessment approach, allowing for better assessment and self-improvement. Encourage critical thinking and analysis. Art history thrives on critical thinking. Assessments should pose questions that challenge students to analyze artworks, draw connections between different periods, and evaluate the profound impact of art on society. Encourage students to support their arguments with evidence from their research and visual, anal visual analysis. These assessments foster not only the deeper understanding of art, but also the ability to think critically and form well-supported arguments. Peer review and feedback. Peer review sessions can be a powerful tool for both assessment and growth. They provide students with the opportunity to evaluate, evaluate and offer uh, feedback on each other's work. Not only does this expose, not only this, ex this not only exposes them to diverse perspectives, but also promotes a collaborative and inclusive learning environment. As an educator, your role in offering constructive feedback on assignments is pivotal. Highlight students' strengths and guide them on areas for improvement facilitating their growth throughout the course. Varied assessment formats. Students have diverse learning styles and strengths. To cater to this diversity, use a variety of assessment formats, including written assignments, oral presentations, quizzes, and creative projects. Consider integrating technology for online quizzes or multimedia presentations to assess students' digital, digital literacy and engagement. These varied uh, formats ensure that every student has an opportunity to shine and express their understanding in what uh, resonates with them. Encourage self-reflection. 
Self-reflection is a potent tool for personal growth. Encourage students to reflect on their artistic development and understanding over the course of their studies. And um, incorporate self-assessment um, components into your assessments where students evaluate their own progress. Identify areas for growth and set goals for self-improvement. Assessing participation. Engagement in the learning process is a valuable indicator of students' commitment and understanding. Consider evaluating uh, students' participation in class discussions, uh, group activities, and critiques. Active involvement not only enriches their own learning experience, but also contributes to the overall classroom dynamic. Adapt assessments to individual needs. Recognize that each student is unique, with varying abilities and learning styles. Be open to accommodating different needs by offering uh, alternative assessments or options or additional support as required. Flexibility is an assessment. Flexibility in assessment ensures that every student has an opportunity to succeed and grow. In the realm of art history, assessment and evaluation are not mere endpoints, but rather integral components of the transformative journey. When thoughtful, thoughtfully designed and executed, assessments nurture a profound appreciation for art and the ability to engage with it critically and meaningfully. Ultimately, the art of assessment is the art of fostering both knowledge and growth in the world of art history. Conclusion, celebrating the art of teaching art history. As we conclude our exploration of teaching general art history, it's evident that the subject is not just about imparting uh, but also about igniting lifelong passion for artistic expression that has shaped our world. The journey of an art history educator is one of discovery, both for students and for ourselves as teachers. Through this guide, we've touched up, through this guide, we've touched upon the importance of understanding your audience, designing a compelling curriculum, and utilizing valuable resources and employing um, engaging teaching strategies. We've delved into the art of assessment and evaluation where um, we're measuring progress becomes a tool for our nurturing artistic growth rather than a mere scorecard. Teaching our history is a journey of storytelling where each brushstroke, sculpture, or architectural marvel tells a tale of human creativity cultural culture and history it's about fostering critical thinking empathy and a deep appreciation for the diverse uh, voices uh, and visions that have shaped our world as you embark on this journey as an art history educator remember that your role extends beyond the classroom your role, you are a curator of culture a guide through time and an advocate of the transformative power of art the impact that you have on your students goes far beyond the classroom, influencing their perspectives, enriching their lives, and inspiring their own creative journeys. So whether you are a seasoned educator looking for fresh um, approaches um, or a novice uh, taking your first steps in the world of art history, know that your dedication to teaching this subject is a brushstroke on the canvas of the future. You have the power to kindle curiosity, nurture appreciation, and leave an indelible mark on the artistic souls that you touch. As you share the stories of artists, the evolution of movements, and the beauty of human creativity through the ages, may you find endless inspiration um, in the artistic tapestry that you explore and the students whose lives you enrich. In the world of teaching art history, every lesson is a masterpiece in the making and every student is a potential artist, historian, or curator of the future. Embrace this journey with the passion for you are shaping the, the artists, and art his, art, artists and art enthusiasts of tomorrow.